that you're not really part of the Toastmasters family until you've given your icebreaker. And much like first love, you never forget your icebreaker. <laughs> so today, we have the honor of hearing an icebreaker from one of our newest members, speaking today on the topic of imagination is more important than knowledge. Please join me in welcoming Ron Dainey. Good afternoon, fellow Toastmasters and guests. The title of my speech is Imagination is More Important Than Knowledge. Einstein said that in October of 1929. Those words have been one of my mantras for many years. This is my first Toastmasters speech. As you know, the topic for my speech is about myself. This is not a very comfortable subject for me because I'm much better at talking about a project or some goal rather than myself. I was born in 1958 in Indiana, 33 miles south of downtown Chicago. I'm the second oldest of six kids. As a young man, I love to tinker and build things. My career started off in the US Navy at the age of 17. In the 70s, the Navy had an ad slogan. The Navy, it's not just a job, it's an adventure. So in 1976, I left Chicago to join the Navy. It was a good way to start off my adult life in service to my country. After one enlistment, I decided not to stay in the Navy. I had taken a civilian introductory course about the very first Intel microprocessor. Microprocessor was a very new word in 1979. I knew that I wanted to be a part of this amazing new electronics industry that was appearing on the horizon. My first job out of the Navy was on an experimental fusion reactor at General Atomics in San Diego. I immersed myself into technology and learning, especially regarding new ways of generating energy, like the fusion reactor I was working on. I quickly learned that imagination was more important, but one still needed knowledge from hard work, studying, learning, and research. So to get that knowledge, I went to colleges all over San Diego County for electronics, computer skills, science, and physics. Later, when the industry changed focus to networks and the internet, I studied hard and became a Microsoft Certified Product Specialist and a Novell Certified Network Engineer. This is a picture of my electronics lab. This is where I can let my imagination have fun and just create. I like to build circuits because the fundamentals of electronics remain the same in a world where the only constant is change. I've had a great career working with electronics and technology. I still enjoy building circuits today. It is one of my favorite ways to be creative. I've had such great luck to work in so many different industries. Some of the more interesting projects include underwater robots, laser controllers for optometrists, semiconductor manufacturing devices, and a lot more. We're all so much more than our jobs, projects, and profession. So it is with me. I'm a family man, so here's a picture of my family. <laughs> I've put most of my time and energy and creativity into my role as a husband and father. I've been married for 25 years to my wife, Cindy. We have our daughter, Nicole, who is 23. She graduated from UNR last year, and she has been working at Yelp in Scottsdale, Arizona, one year this month. We are also a step family, since I have a 31-year-old daughter from my first marriage. Cindy helped me to raise Amber since she was age five. Amber got married last year, to the man next to her, Gary. So he's a part of the family now also. Amber graduated from Chico State in May this year with her second degree as a certified nurse. Getting my daughters through school, especially college, and then off on their own, 
has taught me so much about life, even more than studying about science, energy, and technology. This picture was taken at a restaurant in Monterey on Christmas Eve. This picture is of the view from the top of Cathedral Rock in Sedona, Arizona. It is actually a very rigorous hike up there. Last year we hiked up Cathedral Rock twice and a hike up Delicate Arch in Arches National Park. We also took an off-road trip on the White Rim Trail at Canyonlands National Park. I love the outdoor and exploring new places. I like to hike, rock collect, jet skiing, and off-roading. I like to take our RV to places all over the West. I have explored many new and beautiful places and been to dozens of national and state parks. I still have many places left to explore and many adventures to look forward to. We do a lot more things just by ourselves now. We technically became empty nesters in 2012 when Nicole went to UNR and lived on her own in Reno. However, it has really only been in this last year since Nicole moved to Arizona and Amber got married and then graduated from nursing school that we really felt the whole freedom of the empty nester phase of our life. <laughs> for me, that meant having the time and energy to do some things for my own self-improvement. Like joining Toastmasters and learning how to get over my stage fright and stand up and give a speech. I do. <laughs>